What is going on y'all? This is Darth Noivern here coming at you with another video. Today we're doing Star Wars Jedi, damn it, Jedi Fallen Order Episode 4. Um, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Yeah, don't forget to uh, hit that like button if you're enjoying the content, that way I know uh, I know that you're enjoying the content. Also leave, uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know, uh, let me know what else you'd like to, uh, like to see going forward. I, uh... Let's get out of here. Completely forgot that uh, when you're using the dual wielding lightsaber, it uh, takes a lot more to uh, to kill things. And uh, by the way, if you all missed. Uh, if y'all missed the last episode, episode four, uh, what are you doing? Uh, go back and watch it. You missed, uh, you missed some pretty epic moments. As you can, uh, clearly see from here, we got our dual wielding lightsaber, and now we are making our way back to the Mantis here. So we can get on our way. Alrighty. You'll be okay. You're with Jedi. It's safe. I'm safe. No. Oh. Now. Are we ready to go? Yes, I'm ready to go. I'm fine. Just fine. Very much ready to get off this planet. There we go. Alrighty. So now that we're done with that, we're going to be going to the Zeppo homeworld now. Uh, travel to planet. Oh, I gotta hold it. Yeah, we're gonna be going to Zeppo homeworld now, so that's, uh, that's gonna be pretty lit. And we'll see how far we can get on Zeppo. Uh, question of the day, um... What do you all think of this Stadia thing? Um, I've been looking into it and... Man, they, uh... Google bombed. Let's be honest here. Um... How are you gonna announce it in three different things? They announced it in, uh... Yeah, they announced it in E3 in June. They announced it at uh, CDC in 2019 and at GamesCon in August. And uh, there's still not any, like, clear marketing on it. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Bob's ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. If it's under control, it's just a little tricky. 
Alrighty, we made the landing. Barely, but we made it. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Alrighty. Cal, over here. You did good work on the comms. I need a second. I don't want to talk to you. I want to get going here. Um, yeah, this, the, the problem with Stadia right now is uh, they, they have no clear marketing campaign. They don't really know who they're marketing to or really what they're trying to do. And uh, that's all well and good for like initial concept design and stuff. But I mean... We're way past that phase where you shouldn't know who you're marketing to. And the sad thing is the people that really would enjoy the uh, the whole Stadia thing, uh, they don't even really know about it. Because it was literally just spurred up out of nowhere. Kind of. Um, I mean, it was, like I said, it was in it was in the works and they uh, they did do, they did do a little bit of advertising. But for the most part, it was kind of like, um, hey now. it was very hush-hush. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's cool that you wanted to keep your stuff, like, hush-hush, and, but it just didn't work out for them. It was a bad marketing strategy, um campaign didn't really go over too well as far as like the initial pushes of uh, getting it out to the masses uh, it is pretty cool though that it is the first uh, gaming non-console console I guess you would say live stream only game system or stream only game system because uh, I mean, I think we all knew that was kind of coming, especially with like the direction that is like Netflix and all of that took um, took the movie industry. So it's like. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the man -tip. It's like we knew it was coming eventually. We just didn't really. Uh, we didn't know when. And it's uh, it's not surprising that um, that Google's getting into the console game now. Um, I mean, even Netflix is uh, is kind of starting to uh, to enter into the the like uh, I wouldn't say console. Uh, I would say like streaming a game. But it doesn't surprise me that Google would do it. Google's got their hands in everything, and they're going to continue to have their hands in everything. So uh, good, bad, right, wrong, indifferent, like it or love it or hate it, um, Google's here, and they're not going anywhere. They're going to be here for a, uh, a while as far as uh, the console game goes. Just because uh, Stadia kind of kind of took a crap on their initial marketing strategy that I'm assuming they were going for, I can't believe that you would want uh, want it to not do that good. So I I just assume that they were going for better for better, but it just didn't pan out for them. It does bring uh, bring us into the uh, the stance on the stance on the Xbox and the PlayStation and all that. And uh, where do we go from here? Uh, the next generation consoles are coming out, and there is a heavy emphasis already 
on um should be here wait can you carry more thanks bd1 yeah there is a already a um kind of a heavy emphasis i would say on like cloud-based services i mean even look at like the uh the playstation plus like you get the playstation plus and uh you have access to the cloud and you can um use it for like saving of games storage and all that sort of stuff so with that i mean is it really that hard to just be like uh we're gonna put the games on there too and I mean even look at like game sales nowadays like I mean yeah people buy hard copies of games I mean I do all the time uh, but there's reasons for it usually it's usually a pre-order and it comes with something or Yeah, it's usually a, uh, a pre-order and it comes with stuff and whatnot. You don't just, uh, people aren't that hep on going out and buying like uh, used games anymore. Like, I mean, occasionally, yeah, you'll go, used games have their place and whatnot. And it's like anything else, there's just some, some stuff that, some stuff that people do, some stuff that people don't do, but uh, look at GameStop sales. Once they started doing, um, and I mean, once they really started doing like the uh, the initial pushes for the uh, the digital downloads of games, like nobody uh, GameStop sales plummeted, man. Like. So, I mean, it's there, it's gonna be there, and it's gonna stay there. And it's definitely gonna come for more than just Google. Google may be the one starting it right now, but I guarantee you they ain't the last people to do it. But see, the bad thing about what the way Google handled it is that uh, Google put that out, right? But, uh, so Google, Google did their thing. They, they launched, they launched Stadia. It sucked, right? That leaves it completely open for anybody now to launch the slightest better product in that sort of market and they steamroll. Um, which leaves PlayStation and Xbox in a very, very good position. It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. Not feeling weak? Can I get some help? Thanks. Yeah, that, um, I just, I just can't get behind the fact that, uh, like I said, the main thing for me is, like, nobody knows about it, right? So, like, like, we know that Stadia's out there, but, like, um, So like they advertised it as like a $99 a month and that's all you have to pay. Well that's not exactly true either because you have to buy their controllers and uh, and all sorts of other stuff. Like it's, it comes out to... Um, Oh, we got two skill points now, and now we can upgrade the uh, the skill there. Uh, what was that that we want? We're saving for uh, this one. Triangle, triangle. All right. Yeah, but uh, pretty much. Uh, 
I can see Stadia's sales picking up. I honestly can when they, uh, when people realize what, like, the, the potential for it. But right now, like, Like right now, like realistically, I can't even tell you one game title that's on, uh... Yeah, I can't even tell you, like, one game title that's on, uh... That's supposed to be, like on Stadia and like advertised for like a, a major launch title as it were. I can't name one. And like I do get that like I'm not the biggest on this bandwagon so I'm sure other people could tell you these things. Uh, I can't I can't for the simple fact, like, like I'm not up to date on it. Like, I know stuff, but that's it. I kind of have the same basis. So that's kind of the question of the day. Um, and a very, very long question format. Uh, what do you think about Stadio? Let me know. Uh, and uh, not just Stadia, but the uh, the future of purely digital content as far as games go, and uh, and what y'all think of that. Um, me personally, like I said, uh, they're just. There needs to be more for me to get behind it, and uh, there's not more. So that's kind of like where I'm at. Is like I'll sit back and watch for a while. I, to be honest, I don't think I would ever get behind Google for that. Like. Um, It's just a risk, like, and it's more of a risk that Google did it, because Google's not a console. I mean, Google's a freaking Fortune 500 company, and like, yeah, got it, Google's pretty much good for almost anything, but if I'm going to risk um, something like that, I feel like... Um, I feel like the better bet to go is to wait until Xbox or PlayStation comes out with it, you know what I mean? That way, I know that it's just, it, it's a trusted gaming console that's coming out with that, and then there's going to be already companies that are on the bandwagon supporting it, uh, and uh, you're going to kind of know, I just feel like you're going to know more. It's kind of like... Uh, kind of like where I'm at with that, I guess. I just, yeah, with Google, it's kind of like there's so much in the dark with it. It's just, it's freaking ridiculous, let's be honest. Like, it's one thing to, like, keep stuff in the dark and, like, like hold stuff but there's just there's just way 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 too much in the dark there for my for my liking and my taste so we'll just uh, we'll just wait and see I guess um, 
I mean, they're, they're not wrong in their marketing campaign by any means as far as like how they're marketing it with it being the future of gaming. Yeah, it's the future of gaming. That's the direction gaming is going to take. Um, that's the direction gaming has been taking for a long time now. And if anything, I'm actually surprised that it's taken this long and it took Google to uh, do it. But uh, digital libraries and just just streaming games is, I mean, that's going to be your future. On the brighter news, though, we're uh, we're getting we're getting a lot accomplished here today on this. Hopefully, uh, it seems uh, seems pretty easy so far. Uh, definitely easier than Daphomir by all standpoints. Um, I think I was supposed to just let them two kill each other. In this freaking hole right there. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the ass right here. Not so much a pain in the ass, just annoying. I hate stuff where you gotta time it. I'm going for it. We're going for it! Oh, we made it. The hell is that thing? Oh, shit. Whoops, no scanning that guy. New objective on the hollow map. Okay, they got rocket launchers now. That's uh That's kind of not cool. Damn it. See? I'm terrible at these things. Hey, I made it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be up here, but... I saw the little save point and figured this was probably where I'm supposed to go, right? All right, we made it.
this. Uh, I should have rested at that save point. I didn't even think about it. Okay. All right. Not save, rest, I mean. Well, they, they're the same damn thing. Rest, save, same shit. Hey, we're gonna rest right here. Oh, that's in the cave. Okay. Yeah, the next save point, we're probably going to save and, uh... Where the hell does this lead? To a cliff. All right. those guys Complete for that. Transport ship leaving the Empire's base. I heard. They plan to bring Zeppo artifacts to Coruscant. What does that mean? That the Emperor is interested in Zeppo? Maybe. I need to be able to access Empire stuff. 
and I cannot. Not as of yet. Whoa. meditate here we're going to use our last skill point to upgrade the last of the skill tree to that circle plus square right. and we're going to rest Alrighty, and that brings us to the conclusion of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Episode 5. I know this was kind of a short one, but I'll be hitting you up with a longer one for the next episode. Um, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. Uh, let me know how the content's doing. Uh, don't forget, uh, question of the day, what do you think about Stadia and the future of gaming going in the direction of uh, streaming games and digital libraries and all of that? As well as uh, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the bell, that way you're notified every time a new episode or a new video is uploaded. Um, we also do do live streams here on YouTube we're still working on getting the kinks worked out so we can start streaming on Twitch uh, so stay tuned for that coming up also there uh, we've got some more planned content coming out um, probably here in the next couple of weeks that you should be looking forward to so uh, yeah just with all that uh, that's it for episode 5 and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Peace.